Welcome everybody to section 2 of our course. In this section, we are going to discuss the iris dataset and you are going to make your first neural network. We are going to look at the iris dataset and see what values it contains. We are going to make a model of the human brain with NumPy and TensorFlow. I will demonstrate backpropagation and introduce the concept of overfitting your dataset. And at the end, we will evaluate how well our first neural network is able to capture this data. In video 2.1, we will take a look at the IRIS dataset. I will tell you what the IRIS dataset contains. I will tell you what problem we are trying to solve. And I will inspect our data by plotting it. Now imagine you are walking through the field with a biology friend and you want to impress him or her by telling for each flower what specific species it is. It turns out the iris flower has three specific species, being the iris setosa, iris verticolor, and iris virginica. Now, from the looks, they might be a bit difficult to separate, but this problem has been well studied for a long amount of time and a biolo biologist measured uh, several factors being the length of the sepal, which is the hanging leaf, the width of the sepal, the length and height, length and width of the petal, which is the upstanding leaf. And they have been collected by Ronald Fisher in 1936. And for each species of iris flower, he measured these things for 50 flowers per species. So he got a collection of data of 150 points. I will show you how we can download and visualize this data now in the Jupyter Notebook, which you obtained in the previous section. Now I started by importing matplotlib and using this magic command matplotlib inline to be able to draw all the visualizations in our Jupyter Notebook. And I will start by telling you, now this data set is so important that it is included in the sklearn library. So let's start by importing the sklearn uh, library. And you can download the data by calling datasets.loadiris. Now, if you print this data, you see that we have a dictionary with feature names. We have our data. We have a bit of an explanation. And we have the targets, which is an array with uh, 0, 1, and 2 for the separate classes. So let's print the data. Now, here you see the measurements but we actually don't know what they say. So let's also print. Now you don't know what this data actually says unless you print what the target names and feature names are. And now we see that the first column contains the sepal length, the second column the sepal width, the third column the petal length, and the fourth column the petal width. And the best way to see if they are linearly separable is by building a scatterplot in the matplotlib library. Now I will just take two random dimensions to plot, and I give them the color of their respective class. Okay, so I plot the data as a scatterplot, and I label the axes with their feature names, so we see what we are actually plotting. And as you can see, one class is easily separable based on petal length, and the other two classes are separable, but they overlap a little bit, also based on petal length. And the separable width is a bit more difficult, and you see that the blue class has mostly has a higher separable width, but there's a huge overlap between the classes. Now let's try to plot another feature. And I will copy this code to speed up the video.
Now this time I will take the zeroth and third dimension. And here we see that based on better width, we can separate the blue class and the two brown classes again a bit. And separate length is a bit more difficult. There's, yeah, there's a big overlap, especially in the middle, around 5 till 7 centimeters. But it might be interesting to look at it. Okay, so now we downloaded and visualized our data. And we now know what our data set contains. And we discovered that there's an overlap between two categories, which we plotted as the two brown colors. But we should be able to see the difference between two categories easily, uh, only based on the pattern length, for example.